Baik hari ke-12 sidang media telah pun berlangsung diperusikan oleh pemangku Menteri Pengangkutan Datuk Seri Syamudin Dosen. Baik kita terus saja ke sidang media sedang berlangsung ketika ini. Increasing the number of technical experts. We are also taking further steps to address the needs of the families at this very difficult time. I will start by giving a brief operational update. And as we have said, the search for MH370 involves diplomatic, technical and logistical challenges. Accordingly, the main technical team organizing the search and rescue operation has been broken into three groups. A diplomatic team led by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, an assets deployment and logistic team led by the armed forces, and a technical group retaining overall operational control, which is led by the Department of Civil Aviation. On the diplomatic front, all 26 countries involved in the search and rescue operations have verbally agreed to assist the operation. And Malaysia has written to all countries formally requesting cooperation. A number of assets have already been committed and are awaiting diplomatic clearance to begin operations. Once we receive formal clearance, we can then speed up the deployment of assets along the search corridors. As I stated yesterday, although the search is still coordinated by Malaysia, our partners are increasingly taking the lead in their own territory and in agreed search sectors. We welcome this. And again, we'd like to thank all our partners for their continued assistance and support. I can confirm that we have received some radar data, but we are not at liberty to release information from other countries. I appeal to all our partners to continue volunteering any of and all information that could help us with, with the investigation and the search for MH370. Regarding reports that a plane was sighted in the Maldives, I can confirm that the Malaysian Chief of the Defence Force has contacted his counterpart in the Maldives, who has confirmed that these reports are not true. I am aware of speculation that additional waypoints were added to the aircraft's flight routing. I can confirm that the aircraft flew on a normal routing up until the waypoint Igari. There is no additional waypoint on MH370's documented flight plan which depicts normal routing all the way to Beijing. On the police investigation, as the Inspector General of the Police confirmed, the case had been classified under Section 130C of the Penal Code. All passengers, crew and ground staff handling the aircraft are being investigated. We are sharing all information relevant to the case with all relevant international investigative agencies that require it. We have received passengers' background checks from all countries apart from Ukraine and Russia, both of which had nationals on board. So far, no information of significance on any passengers has been found. Local and international expertise have been recruited to examine the pilot's fight simulator. Some data has been deleted from the simulator, and forensic work to retrieve this data is ongoing. I would like to take this opportunity to state that the passengers the pilots and the crew remain innocent until proven otherwise. For the sake of their families, I ask that we refrain from any unnecessary speculation that might make an already difficult time even harder. I would like to announce that in addition to the team that is already on the ground, Malaysia is currently assembling a high-level team that will immediately travel to Beijing. The team will give briefings and updates to the next of kin on the latest situation, on the search and rescue plans. The team will include representatives from the Prime Minister's Office, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Royal Nation Air Force, the Department of Civil Aviation, and Malaysian Airlines. The team will be led by Lieutenant General Dato Sri Akbar bin Haji Abdul Samad, RMEF, Air Operation Commander of the Royal Malaysian Air Force, assisted by Ahmad Niza bin Zulfaka, Director of Air Traffic Services, Department of Civil Aviation, and will include a senior 777 pilot. We will persevere. Our immediate focus is the search and rescue operation, and we are pursuing every means possible to narrow the two search corridors. Thank you.
Thank you, gentlemen. We'll big Q&A session. We'll start with the local media first. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair. I'm from Argentine Radio. Okay. Uh, Semalam, selepas sebelas hari misi SNR, juru cakap tentera Thailand memberitahu bahawa rata udah uh, tentera negara mereka di sebelah selatan mengesan pesawat dikali MH370 pada uh, pada laluan bertentangan dengan laluan sepatutnya yang dilalui oleh pesawat tersebut. Dan pada, pada masa yang sama, uh, dia uh, Dan pada masa, masa sama, Panglima Tentera Udaranya, masa Prajin Yukong memberitahu bahawa radar di utara tidak mengesan pesawat tersebut Adakah maklumat ini telah disahkan dan bagaimana pula perkembangan dengan misi di koridor utara selepas penderaan ini? Sebab itulah saya dalam apa dua maklumat yang kita terima mesti dapat korporasi daripada pihak-pihak berkenaan dan saya sendiri telah berjumpa dan bukan berjumpa men, uh, menghubungi the permanent secretary the ministry of defense of thailand general nipat tonglek sebab tu kita tidak boleh mengesahkan uh, apa yang telah dinyatakan tadi sama ada ya atau tidak yes uh, saya mana daripada mana saya tak sini ya saya nak tanya mengenai isme Uh, Benda agaknya maklumat yang dibayangkan akan dapat diperoleh oleh pihak polis And then mengenai SCR kita ni Selepas 50 hari apa yang akan berlaku buat happen after the days saya baru berjumpa dengan uh, delegasi dengan uh, dan juga satu uh, pasukan daripada Perancis uh, pagi tadi di mana uh, mereka mempunyai pengalaman dalam uh, Uh, tragedi Air France di mana dua tahun uh, diambil untuk menghubungi untuk mendapat uh, black box berkenaan dengan uh, pesawat uh, Air France tadi dan uh, maklumat-maklumat dan pengalaman mereka uh, akan uh, membantu kita untuk membuat keputusan yang uh, uh, selanjutnya simulator Sudah. Uh, simulator Kena dengan uh, simulator itu, pakar-pakar uh, uh, forensik kita, masuk dari cyber security, dari MAS lagi, dan juga pakar-pakar dari peneluan gara sedang menelitinya. Dan uh, apa, apa yang dimaksudkan dengan uh, uh, yang dah padam ini adalah uh, log, data log kepada permainan uh, flight simulator dalam simulator itu Apa orang tersebut? Uh, Kumpulan penyiasat Adalah uh, beberapa orang yang pakar dalam bidang Ok, please your question sir Sorry uh, I'm here uh, I'm Your phone sir I'm uh, Shatter from BZ On the request for data info from the Every country <coughs> Are you requesting for the larger raw data from the recording all is just for them to analyze and give the feedback to you. Um, I've said that uh, yesterday that the area that we're covering north uh, and south corridors is huge and our immediate focus is how to reduce the siege areas from these two corridors and the way to, to move forward in reducing it is to form ways that we have decided on one is gathering satellite information as I said earlier Secondly, is analyzing the radar data as it becomes available, whether it's primary or secondary, commercial or military. Thirdly, is increasing the air and surface assets. And it depends very much on when and how we do it. Uh, and how we are actually going to do the, the search um, will depend on what assets are going to be deployed. And finally, increasing the number of technical experts which includes the French delegation which I met earlier today. Yes. yes, a question, sir. Good afternoon, sir. You have received the raw data from the Indonesia with this provision and how significant is that raw data 
it is uh, not yet. Uh, but uh, I can confirm that the cooperation uh, from all the countries that I've contacted has uh, first indicated that this is an unprecedented case. And secondly, that they will give us full cooperation. So I think um, it's a bit too, uh, too premature to uh, reveal this data. And secondly, as you can appreciate, this data that has been given to us is very sensitive to, to the nations, and I will need their clearance before I can release them. But how significant is this research? Sorry? How significant is this? We will leave that to the experts who are with us today um, in, in every aspect. So the fourth area in which we want to reduce because we cannot move away from the focus of reducing the corridor and the fourth area was increasing the number of technical experts and that includes those experts that can actually analyze and digest the data that is available to us. Yes, yes, your question please. Uh, Inchik Dalhari, the National Union of Flight Attendants in Malaysia, they have said that MAS has not briefed them on any progress since the incident took place. Can you comment on that? And, no problems. Oh, sorry, Isabel from Soundline. And uh, that's the, the National Union of Flight Attendants is also requesting that authorities step up and form a task force with the union so that it can be uh, apprised on the developments. <coughs> Well, we, we have obviously informed all our unions, uh, in-house unions. Um, the, uh, the, what I call, the, we have not officially informed the, uh, the uh, National Flight Attendance Union. Um, we're not sure whether uh, the, the crew on board were members of the union. All right. uh, we do know that all flight <coughs> crew, uh, I'm not talking about the um, the inf uh, what we call the cabin crew. Sorry, I'm a bit lost for words here. Uh, the, all cabin crew in Malaysia Airlines are represented by an in-house union right now. Yes, please, sir. I'm going to be Yeah, very appropriate question uh, as regards to the Southern Corridor, uh, which is a vast mass of uh, open sea. Um, and that is our, um, some priority is given uh, to that area. Um, this morning, I spoke to uh, Admiral Locklear of PECOM uh, in trying to, uh, in, to identify equipment that uh, would assist us uh, in locating a possibility of a black box, if that is the uh, focus. And uh, the French experts that I spoke to earlier this afternoon uh, in looking for the black box, which took them two years, um, in the Atlantic, um, the equipment that they used. We are now identifying the assets, um, but as far as primary radar is concerned, there are only two countries in the Southern Corridor that can assist us. That is Indonesia and Australia, and both have indicated that they were willing to lead in the search and rescue operations in that sector. Okay, how was... No, I just had to let you go. Flight Simulator ni kita baru ambil pada hari Ahad yang lepas 16 hari bulan, jadi bukan sebulan kan? Dan uh, dari uh, Simulator ni kita dapati mengandungi tiga permainan Flight Simulator Yang pertama ni namakan Flight Simulator X Yang kedua Flight Simulator 9 Dan yang ketiga X Flight 10 Jadi pakar-pakar uh, sedang menelitinya tapi apa yang penting dalam perkara ini ahli keluarga memberi kita kerjasama sepenuh uh, apa juga yang kami perlukan uh, semua ahli keluarga mereka kedua-dua pilot dan kompet dalam menjalankan sesatan mereka memberi sepenuh kerjasama dan kami tidak ada masalah dalam uh, mendapatkan apa juga maklumat-maklumat berkenaan kedua-dua pilot dan kompet ok, we'll now start with the foreign media and so Please, your question, please. Please identify from where and please refer to one question per agency. This was an ICB news. We are 
ask you on Monday before the time is now to apologise to the families that what we've witnessed in Safu is the time not really now. The time is still to look for the aircraft. Okay, the gentleman's in please. Um, good morning, Harold. Inspector General, where is the investigation at? Have you got any leads? Um, where, where is the investigation going? Have you, what have you ruled out? What have you have not ruled out? The, inf the investigations are still focused to the four areas that I have mentioned earlier on. Uh, I do not wish to, uh, to uh, elaborate what has been ruled out and what has not been ruled out. I think let us uh, stay focused on the four areas and uh, uh, we'll get to it. Yes, please, sir. Um, this is a question for the Minister. I'm from the BBC. Um, can you confirm that after the turn back, radar data shows that the plane passed through at least two waypoints before it headed out into the Bay of Bengal? Do you have evidence to support that two waypoints were passed through in a sort of zigzag pattern as it headed out into the Bay of Bengal? I think that was uh, something that we are going to investigate. I think we have passed through that stage now. What we're going, what we're going to do now is to find the aircraft. That I think is more important than that. Let us investigate on that. Do you have a picture that shows it passing through? I think that is that is something that the investigation is doing doing now. And what we're going to concentrate now is to find the aircraft. That is why we, we have this uh, the northern and the southern corridor. And the reason why we are looking for the aircraft is that. We, we hope that by locating the aircraft, we are able to find the black box. And if we do find the black box, then your answer will be categorically answered. If you have the radar data now, why don't you tell us? It's a very crucial piece of information which would show... Yeah, we, have, we have gone beyond that. Uh, we, have, we have information from a satellite that says that the aircraft have, have flown up to uh, the time 8, 11 in the morning. So we are concentrating our, our effort now to find the aircraft. Thank you. Okay, the question, your question, please, sir. Jonathan Rugby from Channel 4 in London. Hi. There are reports today, sir, that the plane diverted course and went westwards before the co-pilot said good night. Can you confirm uh, that that is the case? And if it is the case, does that not suggest that the plane was deliberately taken off course? No, that's, not that's, that's not correct. So the pilot did not... Mm -hmm. Correct. That's not. So it could have been an accident. We don't know. No, That's what we don't. Oh, okay. Hello, um, Mark Stone from Sky News. Uh, can I just get your reaction, please, to the uh, very difficult, heartbreaking scenes taking place right outside this room right now? Uh, families of those on board. They came in here. They unfurled the banner. They clearly believe that you are not capable your team uh, of sorting out this investigation and trying to find some answers. Can I get your thoughts yeah, on that? I, I fully understand uh, what they are going through. Emotions are high. And this is something that I discussed with the French delegation this morning in dealing with the families. Uh, earlier in the statement, I indicated one of our main priorities is also how to manage uh, emotions and, and how to um, appease the families. I have indicated in my statement earlier that we are sending another high-level team to travel to Beijing to explain what we are doing. And uh, I, I hope and I appeal to everybody that um, though we understand their concerns, uh, we are trying our very best. And, and, it, and, it is, and, it, and it is hard uh, uh, wrenching, even for me. A second question, if I may, just briefly. Uh, you indicated just now that you're putting a specific focus on the Southern Corridor. Can yes. You, can you confirm that the Southern Corridor is more interesting to you than the Northern Corridor? Not interesting, it's much more challenging. So you're using both are equal of, of equal importance? They're both equally important, but the, the Southern Corridor is much more challenging. Okay, last question, Hello. please. Your question, yes. sir. Yeah, please. Uh, from ABC Spanish, the newspaper, you said that some data in the simulator have been uh, deleted. This is something normal, it's something unusual. So why did you say this and then said that you, we shouldn't jump into the conclusions? So is there anything special in this data or it's not normal to delete the... 
And what we have found out from the uh, simulator mm -hmm. that the data log <coughs> of the games has been uh, cleared on 3rd of February. So the experts are looking at, at what are the logs that has been cleared. Thank you. Okay, thank you, gentlemen. That concludes the session for today. Thank you very much. Meet again tomorrow. Baik itu dia sidang media hari ke-12 dipengurusikan oleh pemangku Menteri Pengangkutan Datuk Seri Syamudin Tunusin dan esok insyaAllah sidang media seperti biasa akan berlangsung di sini pada jam 5.30 petang nanti dan seperti biasa juga akan kami bawakan secara langsung di TV1. Ikuti perkembangan kami.